good morning or actually good afternoon right now. Welcome once again to Working. And today, um, I've got a little bit of a gap here in this day. I managed to escape to the beach to eat my lunch, kind of in a holding pattern. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a review of a product that I've been using. It's a lunchbox. It's actually a dry box slash cooler by Angle Coolers. This is the 7.5 ounce dry box cooler by Angle. I've been using this to transport my lunches to work now for the past, I don't know, about month, month and a half. And I have some thoughts on it. I think this is a pretty popular brand for people who work in the trades, in construction, industrial jobs. And I just thought I would give you my opinion on how this has been working. I replaced my old kind of soft-sided cooler lunchbox. It was kind of small and it wasn't amazing at keeping things super, super cold. Even with ice in it, if it was a hot summer day sitting in the car, it would eventually, the ice would melt. Uh, my drinks would get warm, my sandwich would get all mushy and warm. So I wanted something that was going to perform a little bit better than that. And so far, I've been very impressed with the Angle Dry Box Cooler. Now, I purchased this myself. This isn't a sponsored video in any way. This wasn't sent to me for review or anything like that. So everything I say about this, that's gonna be my own opinion. So let's jump into this. The Angle Dry Box Cooler, this actually retails for $69.99. Don't pay $69.99 for this. If you shop around, you can find sales. On Amazon right now, this is still $69.99, but occasionally it's on sale there. You can find it in different kind of workwear websites and things like that will sometimes offer these for a discount. The Angle website is always gonna be full price. I'll probably put a link to below to the Amazon and maybe the Angle website as well. So this is a 7.5 quart dry box cooler. It can supposedly hold eight uh, 12 ounce cans. And the dry box thing is interesting as well because it does have a sealed gasket. When you latch these stainless steel latches in the front, it will keep things dry. So some people use these if maybe you're going on a kayaking trip or something. Maybe not the 7.5 ounce because it's kind of small, but some people might buy the 13, or not ounce, quart. Some people might buy the 13 quart and keep camera equipment in there. Some people use the bait version of these for live bait. There are ones that you can actually put an aerator hose inside and have a pump and everything. But this is just kind of the lunchbox version. 7.5 quart. It is, like I mentioned, $69.99 on the Angle website and on Amazon currently, but you can often find it on sale. It has external dimensions of 12 and a quarter inches by eight inches by 10 inches. Now, before I bought this, I actually got the 13 quart version because I thought that would be the one that would fit properly. That was way too large. I think the external dimensions for that were 15 by 10 by 11 and a quarter tall and it was just massive. It was way too big. I saw people, other reviewers, other construction workers talking about how they use the 13 quart and I can't comprehend how anyone would fill that with food and actually eat that much food every single day. In a minute, we'll take a closer look at this and I'll show you what I actually put in this for my lunch every single day. But these people are loading this 13 quart cooler, which is like this big, and just have it packed with food. I see this guy, here's my granola bars, here are my sandwiches, here's my jerky, here's my this and this and this. Like, how could you possibly eat that much? That's insane. I'm over six feet tall. Not like a big, big guy, but pretty big guy. And I, I do a lot of work throughout the day. I think I work up a pretty good appetite. I could not even begin to finish that much food. So I returned the 13 quart and I got the 7.5 quart. And even the 7.5 is kind of large for my purposes, but I figure in the summer I can put maybe some bottled water in there and keep that cool because if it's a really hot day, it's nice to have cold water. I usually have water in my backpack as well, but it'd be nice to be able to throw some extra in the cooler. So this is an injection molded cooler. It is insulated with high grade molded polystyrene foam. It has an EVA gasket seal. So when you unlatch it, there is a seal around the top. And this is kind of a more soft rubber, but it's an EVA, EVA gasket seal. And that keeps everything air and water tight, supposedly. Has a carry handle integrated into the top. As you can see here, self-stopping hinges. So when you open her up, 
It does not open up fully. It won't just flop in the back, which is nice. The latches have stainless steel hardware, stainless steel screws on the hinges in the back, though the hinges are ABS. They seem pretty sturdy though. Pretty stain and odor resistant. This stuff is pretty resilient. It's not gonna soak up liquids or anything that spill inside the cooler, so that also makes it pretty easy to clean. And it features a five-year warranty, so pretty nice. Oh, and it also has this strap, which is optional. I put this on here because I just find it more easy to carry that way, but you don't need it. You can just use this carry handle on the top if you want. As a train rumbles by in the distance, we'll talk a little bit about the colors available for this thing. This one is, I believe, the sand color, but there are so many different colors available. Perhaps, if I think about it, I will show you some B-roll of the different colors that are available on the Amazon or the Angle website. Lots of different color variations, so that's pretty cool. Let's take a look inside though. So, stainless steel latches in the front. Pop these babies open. And inside, you'll see it has this cool little accessory tray, which I like. So a lot of people might put their sandwich there. If you're using just actual ice, loose ice in here, eventually that ice can start to melt and then your sandwich can get all wet and mushy. So you could put that in this tray. I have my little tiny spoon, a paper towel for wiping my lips, and then my Nature Valley Protein Granola Bar sits in the tray. If I take that out, you can see pretty copious amount of space inside here. I have my delicious Twinbrook Creamery chocolate milk. I have half of a salami sandwich, hard salami. I have one yogurt, Tillamook, California peach, delicious. And then I have a mini seven ounce, or is it seven ounce? 7.5 ounce, oh, it's the exact, it's 7.5 ounces in a 7.5 quart cooler of Dr. Pepper. And then I have these two very old Coleman ice packs, these blue ice packs that are, I don't know how much this is. This is 20 ounces, I'm not exactly sure. Two of those. Let's talk about the ice packs for a minute here because on their website and on their Amazon storefront, Angle has their own ice packs that they sell. And they will show a recommended ice pack for the size cooler that you're buying. For the 13 quart and for the 7.5 quart, they recommend the Angle Large Ice Pack. This is the Angle Large Ice Pack. Now look, if I take out my Coleman ice packs, this is why I use the Coleman ice packs. And then I try to place the angle ice pack inside here. Okay, <laughs> it sort of fits, but if it's in here, you can't put the accessory tray inside. It does not work. If you put it down like this, okay, yes, you can put the accessory tray in, but then you can't, well, actually, no, you still can't fit the accessory tray in. So, the large ice pack does not work. Angle does not offer a small ice pack. The extra large is much too large. And even with the 13 ounce, when I had that, the I thought that this would just fit in the bottom of the 13 ounce. It doesn't. It's too big to fit in the bottom. And again, when you put it up on the side like this in the 13 ounce, you can't put the accessory tray in. So don't buy the Angle ice pack if you want it to actually fit inside your cooler. It seems kind of ridiculous that they would have, you know, proprietary ice packs and recommend them fitting a certain size cooler and then it doesn't actually fit properly in the cooler. Very strange. So I've just been using these Coleman ones. I also have a smaller Yeti ice pack that does fit in the bottom, but it doesn't seem to stay frozen as well as these old, like decades old Coleman's, Coleman ones do for me. So that's what I typically use. This is what I have in my lunch every single day. It all fits in quite easily. And if this were the height of summer and it was really hot, I could fit some other, maybe two more bottles of water in there. You can't fit full-size bottles of beer. I think the average bottle of beer is about nine inches tall. And the interior dimensions of this cooler are, I think it's only seven and a half inches tall by 10 inches wide and six inches deep. Those are the interior dimensions. Obviously you can't put a wine bottle in here, but you could lay beer bottles down sideways if you wish, and obviously cans would fit in there just fine. 
So, after having used the Angle 7.5 quart dry box cooler for a couple months now, what do I think of it? Well, I like it. It keeps my food very, very cold. By the end of the day, my ice packs are still frozen. No matter what time of day it is, when I go in there, reach for a drink or get a snack, whatever, it is cold. It is ice cold, and that's what I like, and that's what I want my cooler to do. Very easy to clean. If you spill inside there, you can just wipe it right up. It's not gonna soak into anything. I like that. The tray is a convenient touch. I like the stainless steel latches in the front. It seems really solid, really secure. Just seems well made, and it seems like it's going to last for a long time. The things I don't love about it, it's a little big, but again, that gives me a little bit of room for expandability in the summer if I wanna put more water in or something. And it's, it's a decent size. I think for most people, it's gonna work just fine. I don't like the fact that their proprietary ice pack, which I purchased, does not fit properly in the cooler that they said it would fit inside. That's a con, but I can live with it. All in all though, I think the Angle 7.5 quart cooler is a good product and it's great for if you work in the construction trades and you need something that is going to keep your lunch cold all day long. Now, I don't know if you live in a place where it gets over 100 degrees during the day, if you have this packed with ice and food and put it out in the sun, I don't know if it's gonna last all day. Mine typically stays in my vehicle and I live in the Pacific Northwest, so it doesn't get that hot here. But yeah, I would highly recommend the 7.5 quart angle dry box cooler. It's a great lunchbox. That being said, I'm gonna open this baby up. I'm gonna get out my bottle of Twinbrook Creamery chocolate milk and say, thank you so much for watching. If you need concrete work done, there is a link to Contech in the description box below. And if you are just finishing a long, hard day of work yourself, have an ice cold bottle of chocolate milk for me. I'll see you later.